tips as we're working our way through the ABCs of losing weight. Our entire audience is working out today. How's everyone feeling? Yeah. Next up is L, and that stands for lactic acid. Lactic acid, it occurs when you're working out really hard. And what happens is if you enter into your anaerobic zone, you no longer have enough oxygen to create energy. So what happens is these little, little energy factories in your cells, mitochondria, burn carbohydrates. And when they do that without oxygen, the byproduct is lactic acid. And as you're seeing in the sponge here, lactic acid builds up in your muscles. So that's why you get that burn when you're working out hard. But here's the deal, within an hour, that lactic acid is flushed out of your muscles. So it's not the lactic acid the next day that's making you sore, it's called delayed onset muscle soreness. That can last from one to three, to one to three days after you have a hard workout. So what do you wanna do? Those are often due to little muscle tears at the microscopic level. Massage is a great way to go. I love using a styrofoam roller, mm -hmm. but if you don't have one, you can even use any balls that you have at home, you take a golf ball or a tennis ball, and if you have a particular area where you're sore, just knead out those muscles. It's self-massage, it's free, it's very effective. Golf ball, tennis ball, football, whatever you need. You touched on it a little bit, but understanding muscles is key in weight loss, and that's why M is for muscles. Your muscle is made up of multiple fibers. Now what happens when you're doing a vigorous workout, you're actually tearing, you're getting microscopic tears in your muscle. And what happens is your smaller, smaller muscle, let's say this is your, your thigh muscles here, going through that period of repeated tearing and recovery, provided that you're eating the right stuff, is going to lead to this larger muscle mass, more Twizzlers for you. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. All right, so we picked two volunteers from the audience,